It's one of the largest groups of migrants traveling through Mexican national territory so far this year, according to Mexican immigration officials. Many have been traveling on foot for months. Some are families walking hundreds of kilometers with small children and infants. They often have little or nothing to eat. The migrants know that Latin American leaders gathered recently for a summit in southern Mexico seeking solutions to this massive regional problem. None of them advocated for the migrants who are here. They try to get more money for themselves, but not to solve the situation of the people who are here. Many migrants complain that Mexico is taking too long to process their applications for refugee or exit visas. Mexican immigration officials say their offices are overwhelmed by the number of applications. The large group of travelers includes people from Cuba, Haiti, Venezuela, and several Central American nations. The migrants have been traveling along highways in Mexico's southern Chiapas state, sometimes receiving police escorts. The caravan is happening just as U.S. President Joe Biden prepares to meet in Washington with Latin American leaders on Friday to enhance hemispheric cooperation on the issue of immigration in an effort to decrease the number of migrants arriving at the U.S.-Mexico border. Senior U.S. officials say President Biden is expected to announce new regional development plans to help countries hosting migrants in the Western Hemisphere and enhance economic cooperation in the region. Franklin Contreras, CGTN, Mexico City.